Good afternoon to everybody. I am Bruno Tissot, the head of statistics. I will present a short introduction to our statistics website. So when you are on the BIS website as now, you see on top the banner here where you can find either the publications or the statistics. So you click on the statistics page, and here you have several panels. Let me first start with the column on the left here, where you have, in fact, direct access to statistical uh, areas. So, for example, you can access the release calendar here. Or you can go, for example, here and click on property prices and you access directly property prices. Let me go back to the statistics web page. So, apart from this column on the left, you see now that you have two big panels in the middle. The first one is some statistical publications of interest to you. And let me simply flag the introduction to BIS statistics that you can click here, where you have an overview of our statistics. The second big panel on this web page is on the right, is what we call the statistical data. And here today, we will show you how you can access BIS data using three different ways. The first one, which is what we call the Statistics Explorer, is in order to have predefined views of statistics. You click and you can access. And then you have to download the data in an interactive way, and we will have an example later on. The second way is what we call the warehouse, where here you have, so it takes a bit of time to have the, the web page. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think it, this is yes. just a slow page. So now you have it. So, it, so you, you saw that it's, uh, it takes a bit of time, but it's um, a search tool where you can have customized um, data search. The third way, which is perhaps the easiest one, is to go directly to the publication on statistics, which is in fact what we call the statistical bulletin. You click here, and here you can have PDF of tables on various statistics, and this is perhaps when you are not a specialist of our BIS statistics, the easiest way, just look around the pages and select the statistics you, you are interested in. Let me go back again to this panel on statistical data. We have a link to the BIS quarterly review, which is very useful because our statistical production is linked to the quarterly review. When you click on this link, quarterly review, you have so a lot of articles using our data, and you have also specific things with the statistics we produce, and I'm highlighting here hmm, the BIS statistics chart, the statistical bulletin. Let me go back to the statistics web page again, and uh, we have mentioned the different ways to access the data. Now I will quickly have a look at the content of our statistics. You just go down on this web page, and you see that we have four main groups of statistics. And I will highlight briefly each of them. The first one is what we call the international banking and financial statistics. Yeah. And you can see that we have three main statistics, 
which are in fact to simplify the statistics that you will just find at the BIS. They are not available elsewhere. These are really the statistics produced by the BIS. You have the banking statistics, where we have two data sets. To simplify, one is on a residency basis, like the national account, and another one is on a consolidated basis, where you have, for example, data on the French banks that are resident in France, but also resident outside France. So this is the banking statistics. We have the debt security statistics, the third group in this first area. And here, you have three data sets. One is the international debt, secu debt security statistics, which is a granular security by security database. And then you have what we call the domestic debt securities and the total debt securities, which are, in fact, aggregated numbers for countries. The third group in this international banking and financial statistics is our derivative statistics, where we have also three data sets. First, on OTC derivatives, we have a semi-annual survey here. We have roughly the same survey, but in a more comprehensive uh, way and with a greater coverage of countries. And also, you have information on forex markets with what we call the triennial central bank survey that you can click. Lastly, we have a data set on exchange traded derivatives. Here, it's only the information on um, exchanges, so it's only a small part of the activities in the derivatives market because there is a lot of activities that is OTC over the counter. So let me now turn to the second group, which is what we call the global liquidity and credit. Here, to simplify, I would characterize this as research indicators. So it is not statistics that we produce uh, only at the BIS. It is statistics that we construct using a variety of uh, statistics. The first thing is global liquidity indicators that we construct to have an idea of global liquidity conditions. The second one is what we call credit to the non-financial sector. And here, to simplify, you, you have to understand that it is, in fact, debt data for each country and for each sector. So for example, here you will find the debt of the government sector for a specific country. And the series will be comparable across countries and across sectors. Fourth, we have what we call the debt service ratios, which are also indicators where we have constructed to see the ability of uh, economic agents to repay debt, including the debt servicing and the repayment of the principal. Lastly, we have, we have what we call the external debt statistics, which is a link to a website where you have all the information on external debt that is provided by the BIS, but also by other international organizations. The third group that you find here called property prices and exchange rates, you can think of it as statistics that are not collected by the BIS, nor um, it's not also research indicators. It's simply long-term statistics that we try to publish. And we do this for property prices. Uh, and we do see also for effective exchange rates on a nominal and a real basis, so deflated by inflation. The fourth category is something a little bit more specialized, so it's statistics on payment systems. And here you go back, when you click on the right, you go to the website uh, of the committee that is in charge of these statistics, and you can have data across countries and by countries. 